Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Mario, and back at it with another vlog video. You know, haven't posted in a minute, haven't done like a vlog, I guess, but I'm back and uh, just wanted to shoot a vlog because today I'm going to a soccer game between Anchor Bay and Troy Athens High School. Uh, Two of the best teams, I guess, in the state. It's, uh, I think, regional semifinals of the state. And it's a big game because Triathlons last year won the state championship, Division One. They were the best team in the Division One. Uh, and Anchor Bay, they they lost, I think, in the district finals or something like that. They were a very good team last year, but they're undefeated right now. And I'll pop up their records soon. I think they're, I don't know, I think Anchor Bay is undefeated right now. And, Troy isn't as good as they were last year, but they made a run so far in the in the playoffs right now, or the districts, whatever you call them, for soccer, and they look pretty dangerous. I think, you know, they could go all the way again, but we'll see. Yeah, so like I was saying, Troy Athens is the 28th best team in the state right now. They're 4-1-3, and three, not as good as last year, but still very good. And Anchor Bay is 24th in the state this year. They're 8-0, and no, looking like, honestly, probably one of the better teams in the state right now and could win it all. Alright boys, uh, game time soon, uh, about to head out soon actually to the game, because game's at 7, it's like 6, just turned 6 I think right now, and I think, I'm about to make a prediction right now, I think both teams are great, Athens, Athens, you know, they got the, they got the state championship from last year, they could try to win back to back, but I think it's just Athens, I mean, Athens is good. I think Anchor Bay has just way too much firepower this year. They're undefeated right now this season. They were very good last season, pretty much having the same roster. Um, I think Anchor Bay wins 3-1. Anchor Bay, 3-1. And I think that's because they got the twins, you know. If, you, if you've been to Michigan, they, there's the two twins, same team, same age. They go crazy. They're good. Uh they just been dominating, and I know a couple other guys on the team. I know my boy Keon on that team. He's a goat. He's a light skin, light skin winger. Well, when I play with him, he was a light skin winger that we called, and he was just a goat. Like he had a good, he had a good ass power shot on him. So, uh, I don't. know. I think Anger Bay wins this three one. I think this either they go up three zero and then Athens finally gets one, or it goes one one. I I think Athens will. Score the second one. I think they'll go. I think they'll go one zero for Anchor Bay. Then Athens score. And then two more for uh, Anchor Bay. But either way, I think it's gonna be three one. I don't know if it's gonna go to extra time, and maybe it might go to extra time and three one there. But I don't know. It might. It might go to penalties because, I think Anchor Bay did go to penalties like two games ago against like the or something like that. But I don't think. I don't know if Athens has it in them to hang with Anchor Bay right now. But I'm about to change. So but let's go. The fit is on, lads. The fit is on. Anchor Bay, 3-1. Don't disappoint me. All right? I'm expecting a good dub out, y'all. expecting a good dub out, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Nah, that's the fuck. Yeah, Getting the dub, Unexpe I honestly, I was unexpected. Like, I didn't think Triathens had it in them. I really didn't think it. I mean, I didn't really watch much of Triathens this year, but I know last year they were very good. But I don't know. I didn't think they had them in this year. I had it in in them this year because I know Anchor Bay. Anchor Bay almost, almost, you know, could have won the whole thing if they beat Chippewa last year, but they didn't. Could have set up a match last year. Could have been a rematch this year, but. You know, I really thought Anger Bay had it in them this year. But slow start. I mean, two minutes. You know, it was like 13 minutes into the game. Anger Bay was already down 2-0. And then it was like around the 17-minute mark or something like that. They scored off a corner. So it was 2-1. Anger Bay was down. Anger Bay was hyped. They were getting the crowd up. And then this dude on uh, track and just diced up the whole right side of the defense. Numb eggs a kid, then goes around the other and chips the goalie. So at halftime, Anchor Bay found themselves down 3-1. 
and just didn't look good for them. Like, they just weren't connecting passes, and they were just playing really bad. But second half, they started connecting passes. They just started playing a lot better, starting to get the ball up to their striker, and it was looking good for them. They were creating chances, but crucial mistake what came from Travis coaching, which took out their center mid, opened up space, and... I think in the in like the four minutes that he was off the pitch, number ten on Dragons, Anger Bay scored twice. Like straight away. They scored twice. They they were fresh. They had they had momentum. Like they just looked like they were gonna win the game. And it came down to the wire. Like the last last five minutes it just was all Anchor Bay. Like honestly Anchor Bay should have won the game. But they just couldn't finish. They just couldn't do anything. It goes into overtime. It was a boring overtime, honestly. There wasn't that many chances in the first one, I don't think. Second one, there was a couple chances where Anger Baker could have scored. Uh, and uh, just couldn't capitalize. The same with the Athens. Athens could have capitalized a couple chances too, but they just they were choking. And it goes to penalties. First guy in Anger Bay slots at top left. Uh, looks Looks nice. First guy on Trathens puts it down the middle. And it just goes back and forth, you know, a couple top. It was like three, I think the out of the five kickers on on Anchor Bay, it was three of them went top bins. The other two slotted it left and right. So it was five for five. Both sides went five for five. They had to sub out their new penalty. They had to sub in new penalty takers. First guy steps up for Anchor Bay, goes bottom left, keeper Guess the right way. So, and then, and then you see in that clip, the six kicker on uh, Trath steps up, slots to the bottom right, I think, yeah. Just everybody goes crazy. And it, was, it was a hectic game. I, I really just, I wanted to record it, but it was cold as hell. Like, I just didn't, like, all oh, my hands were cold and everything. But the atmosphere was crazy. Uh, a lot of people were getting annoyed because, like, the Athens guys are trolling. They had the roster, the Anchor Bay, and they're just calling out their names. And it was, it was just a crazy ass game. And props to props to Athens. I mean, they choked the lead, but they finished in the end. Props to them for getting a hard fought dub. Tough way to go out for Anchor Bay, honestly. Tough way, but just how life goes. See how they play next year. You know, peace.